Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name's Ollie43, and this game looks absolutely incredible. It looks absolutely amazing. This is, of course, Just Cause 3, and it's coming out December 1st, for those who don't know. So what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to play out the latest trailer that we've seen so far. It looks absolutely... Every time I watch this trailer, it's amazing. So enjoy the trailer. And when we get back from the trailer finishing, I'm going to run through things I'm excited for. And, uh, yeah, just have a chat with you guys about this game, because I'm super hyped. And, uh, wow, well, here we go. Square Enix presents an Avalanche Studios production. Just Cause 3. Just Cause 3 is a huge open world game with over 400 square miles of complete freedom from sky to seabed. With a large arsenal of weaponry, gadgets, and vehicles, prepare to unleash chaos in the most creative and explosive ways you can imagine. Rico Rodriguez returns to his mother's homeland, the beautiful Mediterranean island of Medici, to liberate it from the brutal dictatorship of General Di Ravello. Obsessed with power, Di Ravello rules Medici with an iron grip, suppressing his citizens, building huge military structures, and leading a strong defense force. But why does this island republic need such a large military? Di Ravello has his eyes on much bigger things than just Medici. He sees global domination as his ultimate conquest. Rico, driven by the desire to return Medici to its once beautiful and peaceful past, goes about bringing down Di Ravello's armies and military bases by any means possible. Rico's tools of the trade include an updated grapple hook, which can be used anywhere in the world to scale great heights as a weapon or for moments of awesome stunt action. Now players can deploy multiple grapple tethers, enabling Rico to chain together incredible moments of chaos and destruction. Combined with a new manual retract function, the grapple becomes even more powerful and versatile. Slingshot vehicles into checkpoints, attach soldiers to exploding fuel tanks, smash helicopters into the ground. You can also hook onto objects and tear them apart, and even construct wrecking balls. The possibilities are endless. The parachute is now a far more stable platform for combat, helping Rico strike his enemies with great precision, using one or two-handed weapons. This allows the combination between the grapple and parachute to be a highly effective combat force, something that no other game can do. On top of this, there's the all-new wingsuit, which allows for total freedom of the skies and completes Rico's aerial abilities. Rico also carries a gun rack of machine guns, rifles, handguns, grenades, rocket launchers, and unlimited C4, creating spectacular kills and awesome explosions. Medici is filled with over 80 land, sea, and air vehicles, from sports cars to jet planes via monster trucks and tractors, each one modeled in incredible detail. Vehicles are a complex set of hinged parts, crumple zones, and explosive fuel tanks. Buildings, bases, and gas stations all blow up in unique physics-based chains of destruction for amazing moments of unpredictable chaos. All this comes together in Just Cause 3's incredible missions, where you tear down the General's bases of power, liberate towns in the open world, and gain access to new vehicles, weapons, and rebel facilities as you progress. Di Ravello knows where you are, and he's sending a big old army to kill you. Additionally, the world is packed full of collectibles and challenges to discover, all of which are tracked online for high-score bragging rights. These include races, scrapyard scrambles, classic gun ranges, wingsuit courses, crash the bomb, and destruction frenzies. Complete them to unlock new mods that upgrade Rico's explosive capabilities and vehicles.
giving players endless ways to cause epic action, destruction, and chaos across 400 square miles of beautiful Mediterranean paradise. Just Cause 3 revolutionizes the open world genre, one massive explosion at a time. Square Enix and Avalanche Studios will set the world on fire December 1st. Such a cool trailer. Really, really awesome. And the fact it's like five minutes long just makes it even more incredible. It's just so much stuff to show. And every time they change the scene, it's like, oh my god, I want to do that. That looks so much fun. Like this, for example. I love that car. That is such a beautiful classic car. And it makes me cry that he throws it out of a plane and uses it as a bomb. It's crazy. <laughs> it's just absolutely insane. So for those of you that don't know me, uh, maybe you caught this video on like YouTube searching for Just Cause or whatever. Um, let me just tell you a little bit about myself. So I love open world games. I'm a sandbox gamer. I love open world games with action and stunts and craziness, explosions. So when Just Cause 3 was announced, you can imagine I was super hyped for this game. And imagine if you're watching this video, you're pretty hyped for it as well. And um, I just wanted to make a video to talk about some of the stuff that was really exciting. First of all, I want to talk about the fact that this is more of the things you love about Just Cause. They haven't changed it. There doesn't seem like there's any crazy gimmicks. It's just more of what you love from the Just Cause franchise, which is amazing. I love it. Open world, action, choices, just, you know, crazy explosion banter. It's amazing. Got to say a couple of things. Number one, interestingly enough, this trailer is in 30 frames per second, which I don't want to look too much into, but it's just something to keep in mind. I wonder if this game will be possibly capped to 30 frames on the consoles, more than likely, since it's an open world game. Um, but yeah, if it isn't, that would be really cool. If it is, not particularly too bothered. But uh, yeah, just something to keep in mind for those of you that are really technically minded and really care about your frames per second. This trailer is in 30, so potentially that might be a gameplay limitation. Um, let me know how you feel about that down in the comments. I particularly don't really care all that much. Typically I do, certainly for shooter games, but for something like Just Cause, I don't think it matters. The wingsuit looks so much fun, and you saw a little snippet at the very beginning where he was near the ground and he used his grapple hook, which is like the best invention in the world. Uh, he used his grapple hook to kind of pull him faster along the ground so it looks like it will be like endless flight you're not going to get to a point and just hit the ground if you get close to the ground you can grab a hook get some more speed and go up in the air so that's really really cool doesn't look like you'll be able to use weapons in the wingsuit but if you want to use weapons you can as you can see from this clip which is perfectly timed you can use weapons and you can even use two-handed weapons with the parachute which is really really cool things like the rpg things like big machine guns and i'm more than sure they're hiding stuff they're really hiding stuff. I mean, you know there's going to be more trailers for this game. And you look at that. That's such a cool screenshot. That's so cool. Uh, you know they're hiding stuff. They're going to have some kind of plasma gun or something crazy like that. So it was really, really cool. And also, in a minute, they show the detail of this game. They show like a Ferrari type. Or it looks to be like a Ferrari. It's like a red uh, Formula One car. Um, racing car, if you like. And uh, you can really tell. I, I only say it's Ferrari because it's red. <laughs> it's going to really annoy some Ferrari people, whatever. Yeah, the detail in this game looks really, really cool and really impressive. There it is. Look at that. It looks awesome. So, yeah, they talk about a little bit how every item in this game has little hinges, lots of detail, crumple zones. So it looks like everyone's going to have a really unique experience when they do these kind of mad uh, explosions, stunts, because now you can have multiple grapple hooks. You can do multiple explosions and set off giant triggers and crazy scenario type things like you'd be able to grab a hooker thing there's going to be a youtube video somewhere of someone just hitting something with like a pistol and it's going to blow up that and it's going to shoot that up in the air and it's going to do spin a car out in the world and it's going to be amazing so yeah it looks like all the explosions and stuff are going to really matter because things will react in really delicate ways and depending on how you explode them, it's going to change what the thing does. Now, they talk a little bit about online multiplayer here, which is kind of interesting. they got things like shooting, um, wingsuit races, explosion derbies. It doesn't look like... It's, they say multiplayer, but you don't actually see too much multiplayer. You see, like, time trials and things like that. So it'll be interesting to see where that goes in the future. And one other thing I want to talk about before, because we're almost out of time here, is mods. Now, Fallout 4 is actually going to have mods on the Xbox One, which is really, really interesting. And I'd be really interested to see, because mods for Just Cause 
or something really, really cool. Like, they did a multiplayer mod, and that was awesome. Whether they'll allow that for Xbox as well. So, something to keep in mind. So many questions, but yeah, man. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this game. If you're hyped for this game, give it a like. If you're not interested in this game, you think it's rubbish, and GTA is the best open world game, give it a dislike. And let me know what your thoughts are. So, yeah, my name's Ollie43. Thank you for watching this video. I'm really excited for Just Cause 3. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.